Hello everyone, I made a small update for the AI feature, already added the open router support. I mean, it was on my mind already, but for some reason, I, I, I decided to not add on this version. I don't know why. I just want to release it, maybe. I, I hyped so much. <laughs> anyway, here is the open router support. Now you guys are able to select infinite number not infinite like 300 or so i don't know it is it is growing constantly open router is great by the way if you don't know uh, this is the open router and open models closed models tons of models are shared here some of them are free even uh, so you can use the free models they have usually they usually have like rate limits but if you don't if you if you don't use like heavily you will not hit those limits so and that's that uh register here just create your key that's it nothing else needed let's test the gemini two point oh, it's too sm slow though yeah 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 no 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 i don't want that let's test the flush actually i think my setting is still in flush yep that's it easy and let's edit a page let's talk about the Bricks Builder HTML knowledge and what, I'm, what I am talking about. So when you add a element, it can be a simple text element, section element, whatever, or it can be a advanced like list element, accordion element, tab element. Okay. And let's add form too. Now I want I, I definitely add form. Form. Oh, yeah, okay. David, let's look at the front end and right click inspect or press F12. So why did I do that? Because when we add elements, they have HTML and CSS. Every element has to have like HTML and CSS out. Okay, this is like if you don't know anything about HTML CSS, please learn it. Please. And like basically all web is html and css and javascript okay so without html and css the web wouldn't exist at all okay this is the language browsers are understanding okay this is chrome browser and browser understanding this language and rendering for us okay so we need to give this information to ai otherwise how ai will know this input class or, or like there will be a form group class or there will be a form group like under the text area okay how, how it will know this some of this knowledge this selector knowledge so every html has a css selector because of that you need to create this um prompt you need to create this action prompt so I already show the root element. For example, to write a CSS, uh, we are telling the AI to use the root to select the root element itself. But let's create more details. For example, form. Form. On that. And form element is, is a form element. Okay. Form. Actually, I'm gonna keep this like we will multi click it. Okay. This is a form element. Form element. Each element, each element has group. Check. And let's give you that information. Form group CSS selector to select, select the group each group each group may have input text area there okay let's make them each that and split them is this so ai would understand easier if we split the information in groups in each uh, topic okay so let's add some stuff to the uh, form element. Let's add checkbox. 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 
value. Okay. Why not? One, two, three, four. Actually, I want that a lot more. Okay. Okay. And checkbox has D uses Lee and option wrapper. And when there is option, let's say when there is select options, select it with option wrapper Lee each uh, option. Okay. I think that will be enough for now let's save it now because of this information and knowledge it can write a little bit better css for the each section each form element okay let's test it let's refresh the page okay let's select the form first i will show like without selecting the form i will just select the css and tell it like um make my form six here maybe gradient borders crop background and add padding for each form section i'm just gonna give some vague like uh, under like not specific knowledge i just want to see what what it can do now okay and should we say like the Make the each select option taking a width. So I, I, I'm going to say, I think it will be able to do it, but I'm not sure. Maybe. So I want to see like three on each row, three checkbox on each row. Let's see if, if, if it will be able to code that says. I don't think it can because we didn't select the form and it doesn't have that knowledge. I don't write that. So I hate when it does that. Okay. Did I think? Oh, it 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 has used like contact submit. Like where is this? This is hallucination. It is. <laughs> this is hundred percent hallucination. Hundred percent. So let's try again. This time, make my one better oh i didn't copy the exactly same from anyway make my form better make each section gradient with space crop order gradient to uh, make the each checkbox select option fit 30 percent okay let's test this let's test this happen i want to almost like want to add this don't don't let's do that too for now let's use that clean it aha it worked ah i knew it I didn't test this before, but I had the theory. So because we give this contextual knowledge and understanding, now it knows, like it understands, it has the awareness about some selectors for the form. And now it can code much, much better because of that. Okay. The only thing we need to do, just I just like select it and I can literally see with what is the class. I just like write the class uh, name that's it i didn't do anything special i mean it's not really hard like i'm trying to teach you guys by the way like don't don't um please try to understand the logic okay not this is not just for the form like this this can be any element okay this can be for any element not just the form understand the logic very important okay so let's i mean we have like some selectors, some uh, design options for the tabs and stuff. But I mean, if you want to make it like more stylized, for example, like something like that. I don't know. Look at look at the border. Let's make it thicker. 
Look at that. Looks nice, sexy, and ridiculous at the same time. <laughs> but you get you got the idea, right? You got the idea. I mean, you can you can do stuff like that. You can do stuff like that. And and you can you can give a lot more details and information about for about the like other elements and then it will get much much better okay it, it can get much much better so that's it that's that's uh i wanted to teach like i just wanted to show like open i did open router make an announcement for that and i wanted to teach this like contextual awareness this is a big thing by the way like this is this is the thing if you want to learn anything about ai just learn this first okay because this is the most important thing you can learn if you don't give enough enough knowledge enough prompt like understanding to the ai it will be just useless idiot like it will just randomly hallucinate some codes and selectors and stuff all the time like it will code random stuff but when you give like smart knowledge that it, it gives you superpowers like the, the difference is like unimaginable like the difference like the dumb to super intelligence okay it, it feels like there is there isn't even a gap there is even, like there is a universe size of difference okay so please understand the logic and don't fear about the like reading html and stuff like at least learning which uh, css class like which element is using even that knowledge is important okay so most of you don't even know like some basic html and css and i'm not talking about like you have to code and stuff no you don't you just under just understand the uh, like which element has which html tags for example this has list and for example header has header tag like even having this knowledge gives you a power because you can select the all header with header tag and you can do stuff with that you can do like let's say this section when you show this section let's say you can add a when someone clicks to this section okay when someone clicks to this section you can hide the header okay like this this gives you knowledge okay understand this like basic html and css on the grid or on the web have because this uh, by the way like this knowledge is transferable like it doesn't it is not just tricks when you learn this stuff you, you can use this knowledge on other builders other web projects on block editor side editor like you, you can use it everywhere okay it is universal language like it is the internet this is the internet okay just learn this so that's that i mean i i will make a video like completely separate video about like html css and wordpress and Vue builder and stuff i want to do it i'm not sure how to approach it yet but i want to do it anyway thanks for watching see you guys on the next video bye